Welcome back to Style Statement. Today is our fourth and final episode of our Christmas special and you are in for such a treat. I am joined today by the fantastic Stephanie Allen. Thank you so much for coming onto the oh, show. It's a pleasure. I feel very privileged to be oh, here. Oh, it's lovely Thank to you. have you. You've been in the industry for over 25 years. I have. I've been, um, yes, I've been, I, I, my first collection was in 1991. So and it's more than 25 years, years ago. Fact, Actually, yeah, isn't yeah. It? Slightly, isn't it? <laughs> no. and, and it's gone very fast. <laughs> and you started um, Humble Beginnings back in Wales, is that right? Yes, um, we, we moved to Wales when I, after I'd started a family and um, I started doing bridal wear quite quickly because I really wanted to carry on with my career. When did you come down to London? When did you make well, that move? Well, you know, my decision was at the time that I was going to take it quite slowly and build my career very organically and in a natural way. And so I finally opened my London shop um, nine years ago now. And that, of course, you know, anybody who opens in London because it's fashion, yes. you know, it is a bit of a game changer then. It is, And yes. so it did help me to really develop my career and my name at that time. And what a name it is. You are, you, <laughs> you've got years and years of um, experience and it is very, it's valuable, it really is. Well, yes, I'm a dressmaker at heart and I, and I have spent an immense amount of time refining my skills and I think that that is something I like to talk about quite a lot. And this is something I want to talk about today yeah. on today's episode because the craftsmanship, the love, the care, the attention to detail that goes into your pieces is second to none. Oh, thank you. And I'm so thrilled that you've you've kindly agreed to make us a special gown for today's episode. Well, yes, when you invited me to take part in this show, um, you know, and you told me it was Christmas and we were coming to this amazing venue. Um, I decided to try and create something that had that kind of sparkle and allure that people are looking for at Christmas time. So please tell me, a, 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 I want to know everything okay. about this wonderful girl. Okay, so <laughs> I called it Jardin, Ooh. Which, which is a little <laughs> reference because it was you who gave me you know, the idea for, oh. for taking part in this show. And this actually represents something that is quite a specialist craft in, in my world. So the lace is actually, we actually separate all of the, um, the motifs and the tendrils yeah. and all the beautiful embroideries and then we reapply it onto the dress in a way that creates an organic line with the, um, the shape of the dress itself. And then I've used Illusion Tulle here which is really designed to look as if the, the tendrils are just floating on your skin. Absolutely. And, and, and what I love is that it fits so well because it's so tight oh. that you cut, you know, because then it gives that illusion. It does need to. It, and I think this kind of work, it, it is, it has to be done in a bespoke way. Yes. And, and so this represents a lot of handwork. I mean, I worked on this a lot myself and I, you know, I did quite a lot of hours of Can you tell, how many hours would you say? Well, I said earlier, I think it might even be as many as 40 hours. You know, I can still get huge bugs out of making new dresses. And, and this just was just a really fun project for me. Oh, I'm so glad you said Thank that. You. And I'm so glad that after all these years, you still have that, you know, the enthusiasm oh, for dressmaking. And it, it does shine through in what you create and also through your persona as well. Oh, that's very kind of you to say that. I'm, well, I do enjoy what I do. Yeah. And, you know, I, I genuinely... I'm very proud of the fact that we make everything in-house. I employ my own dressmakers. The inspiration for this gown, so where, where, where Well, basically, the, you gave me the inspiration when you talked about the fact that it was Christmas. You wanted something that really represented something about the festive elements of the Christmas I season. I did. And so, and so you, you told me that you wanted, something with a, you wanted something with a bit of sparkle and a little bit of magic about it, and that was what made me sort of think about doing something like this. I knew I wanted it to be quite full. Yes. I mean, I love the chiffon fabric because it's, it moves. Yes. And it, it, it's the embroidery over the neckline that really gives it that slightly mystical, magical, whimsical it's, it's sort of feel. Quite ethereal, yes. I would say. And then if a bride was to ask, or would you suggest a way of enhancing the dress? What would it be? Well, what we created to go with this dress was to do these little, um, these little gloves wow. and you know I just felt that something like this to bring in a bit of decoration without making the bride wear a lot of jewellery yeah. and so these just go on and it just hooks around your finger it still leaves your ring finger available to put a wedding <laughs> ring on of course the all-important finger all-important finger 
but it just gives the effect of a, a sleeve dress without actually having, having to have sleeves. sleeves. With a dress like this, I think you don't want to make anything too um, too big or too full or mm. overwhelming. And so the, the veil I picked out to go with this dress is a silky tulle, and this just has little tiny so, dainty um, Swarovski crystals in, in it the light, to give a yeah. little bit of sparkle. My philosophy about being a bride, I suppose after all the years I've been doing it, is to be your best version of yourself. I and I think when you go for a dress like this, which has quite, you know, it is quite ornate, but it's still quite a simple shape. I think then, you know, you keep the hair quite simple, you wear a lovely soft veil, and just let your own face be the most beautiful thing about you as a bride. Stephanie, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show, hearing about your world, all the devotion, attention to detail, and your enthusiasm that goes into creating pieces such as this. It's been such a delight. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Jordine. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it. You're it's been, and do you know what? I've really enjoyed making this dress. It was such a oh. fun project. And this dress, would it be available to buy from your, your boutique? Well, it'll be available in my own boutique in London. Um, it'll also be available, um, I, I do have another stockist that it will be available through, and that's Blackburn Bridal. Um, any ladies who'd like to try on this, you know, one-of-a-kind gown, it's going to be available from next week. Fantastic. We do like Blackburn Bridal. We do, <laughs> yes. And Ellie, thank you so much for joining us again and wearing this so superbly. Mm -hmm. it's been fantastic. Yes, thanks, Ellie. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Style Statement. We do hope you've been enjoying all of the episodes we've produced so far. We are now signing off for Christmas, but we'll be back in the new year with some more style inspiration. So if you have any comments, questions or feedback, please feel free to get in touch with us using the email address located along the bottom of the screen. Look forward to seeing you in the new year. Mm -hmm.